Callie, We're ready. In the in a and the game is on. Michael Cogley has the ball. Crossed over to Gav Cawley gives chase. Gav still chasing. The ball comes out. I'm here, James Dunhu, uh, commentating from the all too familiar scene of behind the playground with my camera. And here beside me is the voice of Ireland's David Atkinson and Gareth Lavin of Sligo, the fitter version of Gav Cawley. Gav Cawley turns. Great speed. Sean Griffin comes up. Comes Mark tight. Kelly. Mark Kelly. Finney and Kern goes to try a bit harder. Mike Hurley kicks it on. Mike Hurley's up. Oh, on your chest. The big man comes down. Rory Crook. Went in hard. Rory Crook pulled out of that tackle. Another reason soccer players are softer than GA players, Rory. Rory pushes Gav out of the way. Michael Cogley comes in. First man down is Mark Kelly. Oh, Gav Cogley too. Oh, great save by Brian Grogan. Mark Kelly again, the long range effort. Up in the air. Finney and Curran stays away from that one. Rory Croak looking lively again. He crosses it out to the wing. Finney and Curran, nice control. He's around. Cleared. Cogley again looking very lively, using his pace, standing in the one position. Michael Cogley comes in to tackle. We're not sure how long he'll last today with the ginger hair and the red sun. Cross to cross to Rory Croak now. Rory, he wants to win the love of Nicole O'Connor of DCUFM. It's a Romeo and Juliet story. Gav Cawley once again using his pace to move that two metres. Many people would say Gav Cawley will be such a loss to the football club next year, even bigger than Michael Murphy. Finney and Kern moves in to Niall Farrell. Gav Cawley. The heat is really taking his turn as Mark Kelly comes with his purple boots. Good shot, well saved by Brian Grogan. No score yet as Rory Croke chases up the field. Gav Carley turns with Michael Codley solid at the back. Nice to turn, Niall Farrell's in. Niall Farrell heads for goal. Over the bar, there's no points in this. And here we are with Sean Griffin. And I can tell you that I will be in no way biased today, even though the College View has recently turned me down for a position as features editor. So come on, DCUFM. Gav Cawley uses his strength as Finney and Curran battles in the corner. Gav comes out with the ball. He's willing to cross. Rory Croak is staring out of the early exchanges. Michael Cogley heads up the field on his own. The ball is going to be crossed now. Cogley goes up for the header. But he takes it on his knee. Yeah. Ross McCarrigan, the goal. The only man to be sub goalkeeper for an A and the B all earned. <laughs> <laughs> As Brian Grogan waits for the ball, a miscommunication here. Brian Grogan is about to clear up the field. Turned by a man in a Liverpool jersey. Will it be the first win for Liverpool this year? Nice flick through the legs. Oh, good stop. Niall Farrell is not looking lively at the minute. He was a bit more lively in Lorna Finnegan's office a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I am probably going to be hated by the end of this. Brian Grogan giving shout. <laughs> Oran Valdra says I'm hated here. Pity he won't realise Henrik Larsson was a poor football player. <laughs> Michael Cogley to shoot. Oh, the first goal. He wants to get out of here early before the sun picks up too much. He's already fading away. Right, on, Mark Kelly with the ball with some corner of T. Cozy on his head. He turns. There's no pace to this game whatsoever. Oh, what are you doing? All pure athletes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Michael Cogley, the game is slowed down. We're still 1 0 here as Finney and Karn goes in to tackle. The conditions are difficult. The sweat is pouring. And that's just me looking at the children. Turned around. Back to Michael Cogley as Rory Croke moves up. Gareth Lavin seems to be warming up along the line here. Moved across. Rory Croak, will he shoot? No, he won't. He turns back. Tries to find Michael Cogley. There's a bit of a bromance going on here. It was messed up because Michael didn't get the ball. Finian tries an attempt to kick the ball. Mark Kelly back again. He's looked good. Gav Cawley, where's he gone? Oh, he's crossed the line. Oh, sliding tackle. Oh, there was a bit of malice in that. Gav Cawley, oh, off the post, the master student misses. Up the field again, good tackle by Niall Farrell, moves up, dummy there, goes in, good tackle. Things are starting to heat up here. Mark Kelly, Gav Cawley beats the outside trap to score. As they go wild on the line, 
Rory, Rory, Rory Croak doesn't look happy with that as he spits on the ground. And El has juve character. Rory starts to give out. I'm sure there will be a big article about this in the college view as Rory loves writing about soccer. To Michael Cogley. Back up the field, he strikes. Oh, block. Ross McCarry readies himself for the shot. Turned in, flicked up. Mark Kelly clears. This game has gone stale. One all. Another man on the ground. Keen Roach is on the line offering encouragement to his teammates after getting kicked out of the new bar last night. Or on the Volger Hell looks ready to come on. Will he come on? Without the love of his life or the barrel on the line. That's a very old German. Nice German jersey here. Sean O'Griffin, the fashion icon. Roy Croak in his customary Shelburne jersey. Good to see it actually winning a game. Mark Kelly, the straw student. Ross McCarry points up the line as if it's going to make a difference in five side. Kicks it up the line. Owen Sheehan for his first bit of action. Comes in and pulls out a tackle. Rory Croak out to the wing. Rory looks to turn on. Finian. 1 2. Owen Sheehan's in. Shows the shoulder. Goes to draw through Rory Croak. Doesn't work. The German man in the tackle again. Owen Sheehan in the phone, is he? Oh, Scab. Scab. Brian McGotten. Good save by Ross McCarry. 1 all still. Rory Croak will be looking to his notebook at half time to try to get the scores. A notebook more sacred than Anne Frank's diary. Owen Sheehan in. Wide. A curry man who can't score. Oh, in hard there. Oh. Rory says relax. He wasn't relaxing when Nicole O'Connor was around last year. As he moves in, he didn't like that comment. He's fired up on this occasion. As we hear on the line at the ground football in DCU. Scott, a number of lovely names any mother would like her son to have. Sheen in, Brian Grogan down on his knees. No, no time for a blowjob, Brian, play the game. Michael Cogley coming up the field as Mark Kelly moves in to tackle. Oh, wide, Ross McCarrick died for no reason. As if Vinny and Kern goes to shoot, the mead man, his fitness is showing here today. Rory Croke gets up high in the air. Keen Roach comes tiring out. Oh, no, sorry, that's just a Terminator. Michael Cogley turning around. We have five gingers on the field. What an occasion in the sunny weather. Vinny and Kern in. Oh my God, I don't know whether there's a blaze on the field or there's just five gingers. It's something I've never seen before. Michael Cogley comes out as Keen Roach gives chase. We have yet to see Gareth Laval enter the field wearing my 13 year old brother's jersey. Keep in mind, Cogley. Cogley plays for men's DCU soccer and he got turned by Gav Cawley a minute ago. Just shows DCU soccer is not that good, Rory Crook. Stop writing about it. Anyway, back to the match here and I'm going to stop my vendettas against the College U who did not hire me. So I'm back with DCU TV and David Atkinson, the man who got the Voice of Ireland job. Hasn't mentioned that on Facebook at all in the last few weeks. <laughs> As Michael Cogley turns back to the game, I got sidetracked there because the game's so good, I have to go back to it. And the ball, he passes it, and uh, it's another ball, and we cross it around. Yeah, soccer's really good. Anyway, Mark Kelly in, oh, gee, oh, Rory Croke in, hard. oh, he dived! Dived, oh my God, Rory Croke dived. Oh, Arian Robin, eat your heart out. Keen Roach, Brian Grogan out to save. Finney and Curran goes to turn. Rory Croak. Oh, lovely skill by Rory Croak, really showing off all his talents. Playing in a higher league than Shelburne are currently in today. The College U Cup, that's what it's all about. You can see it on the ground there. Nice bit of tin to bring home with you. A few beans in that and it'll be a nice breakfast. In hard, things are going very fiery now. Rory Croak's in. Oh, Ross McCarrick stopped that with his really, really muscular legs. Oh. Brian Grogan down to save. It's a battle of the keepers. Mark Kelly's tea cosy seems to be coming off his head. Give us a drop of that tea there, Mark. Rory Croke turns. Owen oh, Sheehan's in tackle. He's working hard, but he looks a bit frail. The warm weather's getting to him. In hard back, Rory Croke. Possession game has taken stance. Rory Croke. He's been on the ball a lot. Is he going to substitute himself today? We will have to wait and see. 
Brian McLaughlin. Yeah, Brian McLaughlin. Fine year. He's, uh, fine year studies. Fine year communication studies. Brian McLaughlin is out here playing. Numerous nicknames. I'm just going to call him Brian because I know him that well. Good ball out. With the Liverpool jersey, nice cross. Michael Cogley oh. goes in, but Keen Roach comes away with it. Michael Cogley was just germinated. Keen Roach turns and he's gone past. Someone went mad with some crayons on his leg a while ago. I see a little bird on his leg. The only birds hanging around with him lately. Oh, Sheehan comes to turn as that's blocked on the way through. Rory Crook looks tired. He spits again. Is that just a soccer habit, Rory? As he turns in, the station manager. Oh, he. Oh, hey. we will hope he won't be coming back for Masters with that effort. We don't want him around next year. Oh, he looks to redeem himself. Takes him on. Oh, it's just not his day. Take him off. Minnie and Kern, still on the field. The best man in Manchester United jersey since Tom Cleverley. Rory Croke. Oren Dvaldra still hasn't entered proceedings. How long has he been warming up now? Go on, Gert Levin. Owen Sheehan leaves the field in disgust. Roy Croke, I don't know whether it was that dummy or a fake shot. It's in to Mark Kelly. Gav Colley's back on the goal scorer. Tries to play the offside shot. Looks to turn. Michael Cogley sizes him up. Oh, good block. Colley's in hard again in the corner. Get out of the corner. As Colley's wrestling with him in the corner. Colley comes out. Cogley has it. Get it out of the corner. Cogley comes out. I'm like Patrick Swayze here telling him to get the ball out of the corner. No one puts the baby in the corner. As Keane Roach turns in, McLaughlin again! Rounds the keeper! Back in the net! 2-1 to DCUFM in this wonderful game of soccer. Michael Cogley leaves proceedings along with Rory Crow. This is big news. Half time, is it? There's no timeouts in soccer, lads. Get back on the field. 2-1. Brian Grogan goes outfield after his last attempt to try to save the ball. Brian McLaughlin leaves after scoring that goal. Station manager, Finian Curran takes place in goal. Oran Devaldra has entered the field. And Chris Kennedy is on. Socks pulled up. Oh, Gav Pauly in hard. Oran Devaldra is showing lovely coordinated running there. It's like a duck with bad legs. Keen Roach goes in hard. Brian Grogan takes him on. Brian Grogan still takes him on. Mark Kelly in hard. The man with the tattooed legs gets the ball, but Oran de Valder is in hard. Oran is now currently working for DCU College View. He didn't fail his interview when he got the job. Back in again. Back away from my little vendetta. Uh, Mark Kelly comes out with the ball. Well blocked by uh, this goose ball, over ball. here. Mark Kelly, will you fix your cap, Mark? Come on. Keen Roach missed that one. Oran de Valder in the corner, runs to that at speed. Has the arms up. Keen Roach in hard for the tackle. Yeah, Spender, Spender. Paul O'Donoghue in hard. Three hybrids for Paul O'Donoghue. Three hybrids? No, no goal yet. Oh, Ross McCarrick uses his pecs to stop the ball. 2014-15 comes off to Ross McCarrick. The only man I've ever seen to comprehensively win a one-man race. <laughs> Ross McCarry rolls it out to Mark Kelly. Good ball out, long ball. Mark Kelly up to Keen Roach. Keen Roach back, he doesn't want the ball. Back to Ross McCarry. Lads, you're just going back to where you started. Gav Colley up to Chris Kennedy. Chris Kennedy won the lovely girls competition last night. Turns in around the corner. Chris Kennedy could do with a haircut. Keen Roach turns in, goes for the shot, 2-1. DCUFM lose. The College U lost me and they're going to lose this game. Or on the Valder Hayen hard. Nice little header from the man who supports Celtic. His boyhood club, even though he lives in Ireland. Or on the Valder. Misses that one. Mark Kelly. He hasn't came off at all today. He's using his fitness. Brian Grogan in hard. Kelly up there. Oh, no. Oh, oh Brian. Hit him. So I've just been informed Mark Kelly's a vegetarian, but why did he have Gav Cawley's sausage in his mouth earlier on? James, <laughs> 10 minutes till half time. 10 minutes till half time. I thought my last comment was a bit much, but then again, nothing you to do. It's not as if you can fire me, College View. <laughs> Back to Mark Kelly. <laughs> 
I can't wait for my DCUFM interview. <laughs> you have to do an interview. Fire me. <laughs> Ross McCarrick is in goal, tensing the muscles, looking around for girls. Back to the game. Finian Kern comes out. Or on the Volgerhead. Brian Grogan's looking a little bit faint after the last tackle. Will he do the man back in himself? Or on the Volgerhead. Standing in the corner, doing a bit of Irish dancing. Across the corner. Will he shoot? Turns in. Shoots. Mark Kelly blocks. Coming out to field. Back again. Another man in a Liverpool jersey. A lot of jumping on the bandwagon here today. Up to Keen Roach with the Whitehall Colin Kilsock. Brian Grogan in hard. Determined to make up for that tackle. Oh, 3-1 DCU FM. About eight no, minutes to half time. No. Keen Roach makes a change himself. Off he comes. Who's coming on? Don't know who this is. Se second year set. Bit of Spanish blood in him. That's good to know. Like the gladiator, will he be like him today? Garth Lavin comes up the line. Back to Brian Grogan. Where is Rory Croke when all this is happening? They need their leader, the college you, when he's not on the field. Where is he? Will he come on? I'm calling you out, Rory Croke. Rory Croke from the college you, I'm calling you out. Back, oh, in hard, Finney and Kern on Chris Kennedy. Chris Kennedy wearing Thierry Henry's number, number 14. Also the number of times I got turned down in coppers last night. Garth Lavin in hard in the Saigo shorts, the Blackwater jersey. Nice to see my club colours out there. Nice to see my club colours near the college view. Once again, back to that. Garth Lavin in hard, Chris Kennedy goes up. He's looking tired. Ross McCarry, how much protein is he on? Those arms are looking big. Ross McCarry back out, the new man in the parliament of DCU, SU. Brian Grogan. Brian Grogan is getting awful hardship today. Everyone's going in hard. Leave Brian alone, lads. Oron de Valdre. Nice turn by Oron. Garrett Lavin in hard. The steam has gone out of things. Have the college view given up as they trail by two goals in this Bill O'Hurley Cup. I'm here on the line with David Atkinson, the man from the Voice of Ireland. I'm sure he'll be reminding you later on Twitter, Bebo and Facebook anyway. Back into the corner. Garth Lavin comes out of the corner. In the corner as they shove one another into the fence. It's hardly legal but play continues. Or on the ball, a lot of pushing and shoving going on here now. As Michael Cogley has re-entered proceedings after applying the suntan. He's back in the game. Brian Grogan in for the shot. Will Brian put one in? Oh, great save, Ross McCarry. Glenn Griffin's just in. His uh, nickname is Branch. No one knows why. I'm sure he can fill us in later himself. Ross McCarrick, long ball up. Michael Cogley in the goal now. Comes outside the rectangle. Another goal could surely seal this game. We can all go home. Back in the corner as it's Gareth Lavin. What can he add to proceedings? Glenn Griffin. He's loads of friends with first years. They call them Glenn's Angels. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Glenn Griffin, I've just been informed, hangs around with first years and they call him Glenn's Angels. They are Glenn's Angels. Oh, the things we have to do to get women. He's a multimedia second year Glenn. Multimedia second year, I've just been informed by David Exeter. MPS Webmaster, I didn't even know they had one of those, but there you go, you learn something new every day. Rory Croke back in the game, the comb over is fixed as he takes his man on. Things are getting serious, can the college view pull things back? Rory's in! Oh, horrible miss! Oh, he's obviously struggling without the Nicola O'Connor on the line to support her man. That budding relationship that started last year, or on the Volger hit, in hard. Rory Croke, just wide! Brian Grogan, will Brian pass across the area? Things are getting tight as the College View have a backlash. They're fighting the College View yet. They haven't seen scenes like this since the TV in College Park. Garrett Lavin takes him on again. Michael Cogley, good save. Out to this man. Garrett Lavin's in! Oh, that could have nearly sealed it. Back out. This will surely go up the field as things become a bit stretched. McCarrick readies himself for the shot. Oh! The College View celebrate. There's one in it. That went in, yep. That was in the net. Gab Cawley shrugs the shoulders, gets ready to set off at speed. Another new man in with the sleeves rolled up, or maybe that's just the style these days. Stephen, he won the X Factor Journalist. 
Stephen won the X Factor DCU TV 24 broadcast. Well, fair play to him. One no. Or on the Vondra has saved. The sweat is on his forehead. He wipes it off. Rolls it out to Brian Grogan. He's played well. This man comes up the field. Needs to go finish his hair. Puts him down. Now he got the sides done. Back out. Wouldn't go home to be mother with that kind of hair. Rory Croke in hard. Rory Croke misses the ball. He's not really shining today, Rory. What's wrong? Rory Croke. Here's his chance to prove me wrong. Ball up, Gareth Lavin in hard. Michael Pogley sells the dubby, side steps one there, side steps the other. That's just me running away. Uh, Michael Cogley could be involved in the Wexford people as well, we're not too sure. Heather and Chief of the College View. Big job, big boots to fill. Aoife Mullins down here beside me, cheering on her team. <laughs> Here we have Ross McCarry coming out to stop the shot. Ross McCarry going to roll the ball out. Up to Gav Colley. Gav. Don't be bashful. Don't be bashful now. Right, so tell us what's it like out there. Not the game, Lauren and I. <laughs> oh, he knows what I'm talking about. Right, back, back to the game. Jeez, no, you just want to talk about Lauren. Right, back to the game. A shot wide there by Brian Grogan. Let, who are we interviewing next? Aoife Mullen, come up here. Aoife Mullen, get up here. Aoife Mullen's coming up to interview. You should be used to interviewing me at this stage now, Aoife. Do you remember when you turned me down? No, not the college place. The shift, Aoife, come on. Stay tuned, right? Do you think your team are going to call back this lead? They're a goal down. Uh, Rory hardly have this on the back page of the College U with his name on it, will he? If they lose, will he have it on the back page? Back into the game. Brian Grogan is looking for the ball as Michael Conley turns on the Gav Colley's in. Brian for the leveller. Brian's down again with his swallow dive. Get up, Brian. There's no referee. Garrett Lavin takes on Rory Crow. Two sports writers going at it. Rory went in quick there, just as quick as he changed his Twitter bio after he won his hybrid. Gary Lavin in, Oran Devaldra saves three times. Lightning quick reactions from Oran Devaldra. Almost as quick as he got with Arla Farrell. Rory, Oran just told me to shut up, clear misconduct. Rory Croke sorts your team out. Up the ball, Rory Croke. Will he have a shot? Goes to take the man on, crossfield ball. Back. This man with the unfinished haircut back out to the wing. Brian Grogan up the field. Brian Gab Cawley uses his pace to shuffle out. Brian Grogan back up. In for the shot. Garrett Lavin in hard. Garrett Lavin already after being hit in the gym today. He's looking tired. Bit of stress on. Jen Griffin passed in. Oh, what a brutal shot. Absolutely shocking. Rory Grogan off the line. Brian Grogan. The hair is blowing back in the wind. And he's just been substituted. Who's this enthusiastic man onto the field? Hegarty on his back. David Axon will tell me his name. Level now. Keelan. So we're level heading towards half time. Sean Griffin's back on. Rory Crooks trying to sort his team out. As back on is Niall Farrell. White socks. Wouldn't be seen on the GA field. Back to the yes. to carry. Things are there's crisis in DCUFM as they throw on the big guns. Farrell's back on. That's the corner. Rory Crook comes out as they chase the lead at half time. A minute and a half to go. Saved by Ross McCarry. One minute 30 seconds. Another block. Gav Cawley throws his body on the line. Back up the field. Back around the corner. They're battling away there. Nine Farrell in hard. Comes away at the ball. That was a step over, but you're supposed to bring the ball with you, Niall. Back around here. Will he size up the shot? There's about a minute to go till half time. Three all. In this Bill O'Hurley Cup here on the line. I'm James Dunhill, talking for my own newspaper. Back in the corner. Niall Farrell up the field. One on one. Saved by Oran de Andre. Keeping his team in it. Comes out for the ball. Comes out. Cleared. Up the line. In for the head. Oh, great save by Ross McCarrick after some good hit. 
Back in the corner, Rory Croke in hard. The tiredness is getting to him. Will he be gone before half time? Will he take some time off? Niall Farrell in the corner, Michael Cogley in hard. I think it's going to finish level at half time. Up in the corner, Michael Cogley comes away with it. Ooh, he loses there. Niall Farrell. Niall Farrell to shoot. Oh, Oren Devolger nearly made a mess of that. Back out in the corner, Michael Cogley leaves it. Comes out to the car again. Roy Croke calls for the ball of the opposite wing. He wants the goal before half time. Half time, lad. Roy Croke. Half time. This Bill Early Cup. We'll be getting some analysis on the line here. I'm James Donu. Commentating Sean McHale and Paddy Ward have just arrived after their night's antics last night. Went out to two really good looking women, I heard. <laughs> Dwayne, do you want to wait a minute? No. That's what? just a polite way to tell you you're shite. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we go over to the other team, the boys in red. Referee here. They've made some questionable decisions in that game. Brian Grogan is getting an awful dog in there. How are you going to sort that out in the second half? This is a physical game, you know. You can't have you can't have people swanning around the place and all that. You can't have people swanning around the place, like, you know. So it's a physical game. Brian Grogan knew that when he stepped onto the pitch. He knew there he knew there was a big rivalry between FM and the College U. It was always going to be a tough physical game, but that's the way it goes. And uh, who's your money on? I can't say that. Oh, come on, I can't, I come can't on. say that. I, I'm remaining impartial. Uh, the radio, they have more players, but they're just not quality players like our team. So, so it's been a good comeback, but we're sure the second half of the game. Rory, <laughs> is this team the best team you've seen since Shelburne? Yeah, definitely, James. One last question, Rory. Yes, James. Was Nicole O'Connor a good chip? So, no comment from that college view here. As we head over to line, and I know one of you girls on the line was with Ross McCarrick last week. I don't know your name, but I will find you. As we head back up to take position outside the fence and stare in. David throws the camera on. No time for a selfie. Flat on his face. <laughs> Bit like his radio show that didn't get a hybrid. Oh! Paddy Ward will be here beside me. Is that true, Paddy? <laughs> right, Billy and Kurt, when will you be joining back to action? Back to the game. Mark Kelly, he's fixed his cap. Ready to take on. Purple boots. All the bottles, the man with the unfinished haircut saves. Back out to the corner. Heading up. Mark Kelly, he obviously has haircut problems as well as he's still wearing that hat. He didn't even fit him. Back up to the corner. Right, the Shermanator's here. Oh! Brilliant goal. Applauded by. And DCUFM are back in front, 4 3. Chris Jordan comes out with the ball. The game is back on, straight away, quick early goal. The new editor-in-chief, Michael Cogley, wants to take him on. Oh, a back heel. Right, Chris Jordan takes off, brilliant pace. Right, Mark Kelly, chip ball in. Cleared here, up the field, Liverpool jersey. The Shermanator comes in to tackle, comes out of the corner. Hitting back the ball. Keen Roach, being informed he was thrown out of the new bar last night, for sight night. Thrown out as speedy as two years in a row. He's building a reputation for himself, and not only a good one. Nile Farr, back to Mark Kelly. He has some drawings on his leg as well. There's some brilliant tattoo art on show today. As uh, Keen Roach displays his lovely little birdie on his leg. He's into Nile Farr. Farr shoots wide twice by Nile Farr when it was easier to score. Chris Jordan has the coordination of a giraffe as he plays a cross field ball into the corner. Mark Kelly doesn't want to tackle this one. One goal down. College view, are they going to score? Are they, they going to lose? Chris Jordan up the field, cornered here. Things are gone so again. Who's this man giving chase here? He's not really having such. <laughs> Does he even realise he's in the game? Brand design officer. Dwayne, brand design talker, designer, well talked out for the day. Obviously, he didn't realise this was a serious game. Uh, anyway, back to the game. Mark, Mark Kelly has. Did he? Really? Oh, <laughs> right, just being informed he had surgery, we wish him well soon. <laughs> uh, David Axis is here beside me, giving me all the dirt on the College View and the DCUFM. Chris Jordan in hard, PK on his back. They're all in the corner. Lads, come on, save it for later. Oh, things are heating up. Keen Roach in hard. Lovely turn by Roach, out to Niall Farr. Rory Croke has gone missing again. Aoife Mullen, where is your captain? Go sort him out. Aoife Mullen might be togging out. This just in. As we're back into the line, hard shot by Niall Farr. He's in hard for the head. 
<laughs> Turn around, Michael Cogley up the field. Cogley gives chase. The sun tan is on. Right? As these freckles start to come out, Cogley goes to turn. Turns around here. Lovely turn. Just kick, kick it there, Michael, or do something. And uh, back to this man. David will be telling you his name in a second. <laughs> Paul Donahue. Paul Donahue. Great second name. Back into the corners. Keen Roach goes in hard. Could the t-shirt be any tighter, Keen? <laughs> Back in the gym as per usual. Sharon Linsky here beside me taking in proceedings. Don't shy away, concerned I'll get you even worse. Chris Jordan, good tackling. Jordan's putting good proceedings. There's a problem here. There wants to be a change made for DFM. Rory Croke still hasn't entered proceedings. Ross McCarrick rolls the ball out. The man who won the one man erection race. Fair play at home. Niall Farr back up the field. Goal! Two goals ahead from DCFM. They've made a mountain to climb here. Just like the mountain I climbed last night, on the girl. Back in uh, to Ross McCarrick. And Brian McLaughlin is back in. Ball sack or whatever he's called. Back into Mark Kelly lines up. Still no sign of Rory Croke. Will it be? Here he is, Rory Croke. The big man. He's in in the action. Michael Cogley. Rory Croke and Cogley can start their bromance again. It's not as if they ever never passed to one there. Croke looks like he's after giving up. Keen Roach gives the ball. Croke in for the tackle on Brian McLaughlin. The DCU's brick in their version of Anchorman. Niall Farrell, another person who's starting that video. Bit of a dirty tackle by Chris Jordan there. The giraffe. <laughs> Back in around the corner, Niall Farrell. Things have slowed down a bit. Keen Roach, lovely little back heel. You just got germinated. To Michael Cogley, turns around. Brian McLaughlin in hard for the tackle. Neil Farrell. Things have become very stretched. People will be going down with cramp soon enough. Right, Keen Roach wants to change. Off he comes. Gav Cawley's in. He enters the action at speed. Ross McCarrick has came out the field. He's going to put those big legs to use. It was this man after coming on enthusiastically. Ross McCarrick up. Around the corner. Oh, Brian McLaughlin saved. Still two goals up for DCUFM. Just why? Rory Croke up in the air. Ross McCarrick. Pushed by Chris Jordan. Two big, tall, lanky streaks of urine. <laughs> Michael Cogley takes him on. Up into the corner. This man. Stroll. Oh. Fresh air from Rory Croke. Back into the corner. Michael Cogley. They're playing nice stuff, but they're not getting the ball in the net. Simple as that, lads. All you have to do is get the ball in the net. Right? Takes him on. Brian McLaughlin using his strength. Back out to Rory Croke. Looks around as if he's going to do something magnificent and gives a two yard pass. Oh. Michael Cogley, that was nice. Mark Kelly breaks away. Roy Croke, will he go in hard for the tackle? Oh, sold right by him. Oh, Chris Jordan had been lying down for the last 10 minutes and he finally put it to use. Michael Cogley's out. There's a cross ball. Oh, oh. Gav Cawley had his legs closed and he saved the ball. If only his mother could do the same thing. <laughs> Rory Crow back around the corner. Niall Farrell in hard. Brian McLaughlin. Brian McLaughlin. Oh, brilliant finish. Rory Crow looks as if he's giving up. And the cup, the Bill O'Hurley Cup, the coveted prize, could be heading back to the DCU FM station. Oh, <laughs> lighting reactions by Brian Cawley. Exactly. Brian yeah. McLaughlin. 6-3, I've just been informed the score. Three goals directly after half time for DCU. FM, Niall Farrell turns up to Ross McCarrick. Ross McCarrick turns, nice ball in. Roy Crow. Who? Ross McCarrick comes out, number 27 on his back, in hard. Rory Crow, has he given up yet? Makes the run upfield. Michael Cogley. Niall Farrell in hard. Things are heating up again. Three goals down here, DCU. College View. Oh, four goals. It's gone from bad to worse. And Rory Croke starts to give out. Rory Croke losing here today. Starting to lose the... It's like someone said, the Aircom League is insignificant. And Rory was not happy about it. Right, back to Michael Cogley. Cogley goes to take on Ross McCarry. McCarrick throws a few shakes, covers his balls. Don't worry about it, Ross, you won't be needing him much anyway. Back into the corner. Brian McLaughlin goes for a tackle. New man in here. Pader Gill. Pader Gill. 
turns out of corner. Good save. Gav Cawley's after putting in a couple of solid saves. Humanity's convener, Pat Gill on the field. Shows a few shapes, sprints up. Rory Croke gives chase. He just can't keep up with him. Rory Croke in hard. Must be listening to me. Mark Kelly in the purple boots and the tea cozy hat. Right, goes to shoot. Michael Cogley, Ross McCarry, Chris Jordan. Michael Cogley back in the corner now as he comes out of the corner. Back to Chris Jordan. He can't pick that up, Chris. Up to Oran de Valdra. Oran, low. Oh, lovely coordination from Oran there as he gives chase. Brian McLaughlin stops it. Ross McCarry. Oh, inches wide. About to wither my penis. <laughs> Rory Croke back into the corner. Here we go. Barcelona jersey to another Barcelona. You should have kept it going and passed out to Michael Cawley. Gav Cawley down low to pick up the ball. He bounces it. New man in, the man who works in the new bar. Will everyone be heading back there after this? Or will the DCU College U be walking home in shame? Eva Mullen here beside me. The, the, the newspaper who uh, didn't hire me. Just thought I'd mention that again. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Thanks for reminding us. Oh, a bit of malice here oh, from the College U. Well, you wouldn't be as angry if you were winning the game. Unfortunately, these are five goals down. DCU FM are winning. No. Right, in the corner, Brian McLaughlin. Turns lovely. Brian McLaughlin to Ross McCarrick. Rory Croke steps in. Goal. Five goals now. Chris Jordan has that in five goals at this stage. Rolls it out. New man in, Pat Ergill. Ross McCarrick. Oran de Valtre. Is there hope? Oran. Oran swings a boot at it. Stopped by the man in the pink shorts. Rory Croke. That'll be a nice one to tell Nicole about later on. As he turns, tenses the arms and walks back. Has a look at his bromance, Michael Cogley. They have an acknowledgement that that was a good goal. Gav Cawley, another new man in. To the man in the Celtic jersey. Michael Cogley in hard. They haven't given up the ghost just yet. Cogley. To the man in Barcelona. Oran de Valdra. Nice little swing of the leg from Oran again. Into the man in the Celtic jersey. Oran. Oran comes out. Ball in. Oh, brilliant save by Chris Jordan. That could be the save of the day. That's Aidan Farley in the centre. Aidan Farley. Got pressure of the year. Pressure of the year, Aidan Farley. That's a good one to have on the CV. Back to Chris Jordan. He'll turn. He'll come out with the ball. Chris Jordan fighting in the corner. Comes out with. Back to this man. Tanner Gill shoots. Oh, just wide. Or on the Valdra, he'll come out with pace. He gives it up to Michael Cogley. Cogley on two. Oh, well stopped. Oh, on Valdra. Lovely coordination again from the Kilkenny man. Back to Chris Jordan. Into the Michael Cogley. Does a little shimmy. Turns inside. Oh, over the bar. Point. Oh, an audacious effort from Gav Cogley. Miles wide though. Unfortunately, Chris Jordan back here. The man with the rugby show on DCU FM. Oh! Nearly headed over. Or on the comes in cleanly. Michael Cogley shoots. Oh, Gav Cogley. He's having a super game. Back in the score. Back heel. To the man with Fabregas on his back. Shoots. Pader Gill blocks. In on Farley. Fresher of the year. Up into the corner. Waiting for next year's freshers. Will they have better luck next year? College you Shoots. Rory Croke. Brilliant shot. Excellent. Right. Or on the Valdra. He's putting in some yards. Right to this man here in the Barcelona jersey. I'll find his name in a second. Robin, Robin Roy. Schiller. Robin, Ro Robin, Robin Schiller. Oh, go for Cogley. Don't be clapping yet, lads. You're still four goals behind. <laughs> Aidan Farley. Three goals. I've just been informed by the top quality reporters from the college. Aidan Farley. Back to Mark Kelly. Back to the man who works in the new bar with the lovely t shirt. Can't say the same myself. Mike. 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 Obviously. Two in it, yeah? Two in Three, Rory. Three. <laughs> Rory Croke shouting over three. Is that the moment? The number of articles he puts on the college view a week. Back to Chris Jordan. Lovely around the corner. Chris plays a bit of basketball there to Michael Cogley. As they 
Rory Crow, Oran Javadra has taken up position in the goal. Probably the place for him. Eva Mullen was going mad on the line here as she guides her sacred team in her final year. Gab Cawley. Oh, he fooled everyone with that pass. Out to Mark Kelly. As Clea Bew goes on around behind me. Rory Croak looks tired. Can he talk? That was nearly an own goal by Mike. Gab Cawley. Calm as ever. Over to Rory Croak. It looks it, but unfortunately the college you are not short a man. They have one short man all right, and his name is Rory Croak. Rory Croak turns around to Michael Cogley in this grueling sunburn. Like, oh, Gav Cawley once again. Rory Croak, as much as he hates GA, he scored about five points today. Michael Cogley up the corner. Chris Jordan, the rugby man in the Wexford shorts. He shoots. Ooh, if only the goal was about 10 foot the other direction. <laughs> Rory Croak shoots in. Gav Cawley stops again. He saved everything. Right, Chris Jordan. Chris Jordan and Gav Cawley are having a bit of a fun there together. I'm pretty sure that's against the rules, Gav. And uh, anyway, Owen Sheehan rejoins proceedings. Once again, five gingers on the field, a marvellous feat. It only happens once every blue moon. Mike's in hard with Chris Jordan, the ball's up in the air. Chris Jordan, a little elbow back in Aidan Farley's face. Oh, oh, oh. and then ankle tapped there by the rugby man. Chris Jordan, turning around. Aidan Farley back again. <laughs> Down boy. Michael Cogley. Things are getting heated. College you against DCUFM. Hopefully there will be a fight before the end of it. Someone will quit and I'll fight again. Roy Crook! Roy Crook leaves the field. Is he going to kiss Nicole O'Connor or is he just being substituted? Roy Crook! One goal in it and Roy Crook has left proceedings. Eva Mullins not too happy. Come on, Ed Ben! Back on the field. Ross McCarry puts the goalie gloves on. The new Hermione's manager. Brian Grogan back on, the man who took the big hits in the first half. Will he be the, make the difference? Oran Devolder has been substituted. Obviously the plan of bringing him on didn't work. Nile Farrell coming out. Gav Cawley back outfield. Will it be a mistake taking out their hero goalkeeper? Aidan Farley here beside me after his little tiff with uh, Chris Jordan. Again next time. Brian Grogan, he's up first. Turns round. Keen Roach goes down to tie his nations. Nile Farrell blocks. Keen Roach. Up he gets. Gets the ball. Oh! That was a brilliant tactic. And DCUFM gave them a glimmer of hope. And Chris Jordan has been slated on the line. Michael Cogley up the field for a goal. Roy Crawford would have liked that one. Brian McLaughlin back on. Gav Colley with the ball here. Gav who got the first goal of proceedings with the rip bib. Mark Kelly. Cross to the cross. Brian McLaughlin. Brian Grogan. Brian Grogan using his speed. Brian Grogan, brilliant soccer player. Oh, lovely footwork. Lovely footwork to Michael Cogley. Gav Colley in hard. Clip on the heels by the old John Cawley. The Sligo man. Sligo's PRO. A goal in it. Ross McCarry up in the air. Gav Cawley up in the air. Oh! Good save by Ross McCarry. Up to Keen Roach. Brian Grogan. Brian Grogan. Chris. Right, Brian Grogan. Lovely chip. Nile Farrell down to Brian McLaughlin. The old boys are using their heads here. Michael Cogley didn't go tackle. Brian Grogan. He's seen a lot of the ball since he came on. The girls on the line are telling his name. Michael Cogley. Oh, 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 oh. I just climaxed there as things are in the melting pot now. The Bill O'Hurley Cup. As uh, things are really heating up. Nile Farrell with the ball. To Keen Roach. Keen Roach, Ross McCarry, how much is left? David? Quite a turnaround. Keen Roach to shoot. Saved by Chris Jordan. Brian Grogan up the field. Brian Grogan goes searching for a winner. Oh, Ross McCarry. Brian Grogan again. Brian Grogan's been well involved. Surely Rory Croke will rejoin proceedings. Back to Brian McLaughlin, Nile Farr. Things are heating up here. Michael Cogley intercepted. Oh! Oh! Jeez, 
the ugly ones, this one. Michael's going to jig. Back into the corner. Mark Kelly kind of checks out his ass for a while. Across the corner. Keen Roach. Gav Cawley uses his cool head. Niall Farrell up the field. Keen Roach. Brian Grogan. Chris Jordan. Turn. Oh, smack in the face for his troubles. Gav Cawley. Oh, Gav. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> the ball must have just got hot in Chris Jordan's hands there. Brian Grogan, he's up for this one. He wants to win. After the big hits in the first half, Key Roach comes up, gives chase, up the field. Gab Cawley goes down to tie his legs. A technique that worked for uh, Key Roach. Ross McCarrick, calm, fixes his hair, looks out for the women. Turns. Brian McLaughlin versus Brian Gogan, the Battle of the Brights. And Brian McLaughlin wins. Shoots. Gab Cawley. Oh, Chris Jordan. I'm surprised he didn't drop that one. In the corner with Michael Condon here as he goes to turn. Just being joined by the new DCU president, Kenneth Brown, munching on his chicken roll. <laughs> Looks at me. Give us a job in the near future, what? Kenneth, if you would. Brian Grogan turns here. Ross McCarrick sizes up. He's off. Oh, another big hit on Brian Grogan. Oh, oh in kind. Brian Grogan. <laughs> when it's not your day, it's not your day. Brian Grogan didn't put on his right guard tonight. Come on, Michael. Michael Cogley shoots. Aoife Mullen cheers on her team. Brian Grogan up here. Fabregas. Brian Grogan. Come on, Brian. Oh. <laughs> Gas Cawley in hard. King of the road. Oh. Oh. Chris Jordan nearly put it in his own net. Unbelievable stuff here. If only your show was exciting, Chris. Chris Jordan saved him. Back into the corner. And they wonder why I don't have a job. <laughs> Michael Cogley to Mark Kelly, still with the hat on. Back into the corner. I'm going to be late for work. Brian McGoffin into the corner. Brian McGoffin. The ball's in the corner. Aidan Farley's warming up here. Fresher of the year. Will things get better for him? Sorry. The microphone's there now. Just been pulled away. As Atkinson has the camera back on his shoulder. He was worried I'd be seeing these, the voice limelight for once. Back in the car. Brian Grogan up the free. Brian Grogan. The fan favourite. Oh. 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 <laughs> Brian Grogan has got some heart to visit this game. Oh, Mark Kelly's injured. Oh, he's down. Oh, it's been stopped. Oh, it's never stopped for Brian. No. Brian always gets up. The ironic thing is he was injured tackling Brian. <laughs> and it's stopped here. Not sure what's going to happen now. The stretcher will be on. Michael Cogley fondles his balls. <laughs> That's it, you're on camera doing it, Michael. <laughs> little limb there. Keen Roach helps him off. And uh, Chris Jordan does his most productive thing of the day by leaving the field. <laughs> Ross McCarry can't even fit under the goalposts. <laughs> right, Ian Kine dishes out instructions as Rory Croke is back on the field. Six aside. Ian Klein can confirm how much time is left. How much time? Five minutes. Five minutes? Michael Cogley. Michael Cogley. Across. Brian McGoffin. Michael Cogley turns. Back into the corner. Cogley's down in the corner and Gap Cogley comes in. The wiry old dog Cogley. Oh, Brian Grogan. For once, the girls on the line are telling Brian Grogan to stay on it, off his knees. Oh my God, Gav Colley didn't go off the head of that. Michael Cogley in the car. Gav Colley goes in. Save it for later, lads. Keen Roach. Keen Roach takes on Cogley. Takes on Grogan. Oh, they've been terminated again. Up to this man with the haircut. Keen Roach. Could this be the winner? Roach across. Oh! Brian Grogan takes on in the ass for the team. What a man. Rory Croke, back in proceedings. Cheered on on the line. Editor Sports. 
in chief. Cross the right, Brian Grogan. Brian Grogan using his pace, coming up the field. Brian Grogan! Oh, 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 come on! Oh, you go to jail! Rory Croak, obviously kicked that away quick, doesn't want to get Brian Grogan tackled. Brian Grogan in. Brian Grogan will want to start getting revenge for some of these tackles. Keen Roach in the corner. Van Nisselroy over on the bike watching on. Back over here. Keen Roach. Rory Croak. Rory Croak. He's going to go for goal. Oh, Ross Carrick. Oh, lovely back heel to the other team, Keen. Keen Roach. Oh, oh. Oh, lovely headers going in everywhere now. Brian McLaughlin wearing uh, Hitler's jersey as an under-16 German youth player. <laughs> Back up in the corner. Oran de Valdra is in goal. Oran de Valdra looks on. It can't get any worse when you have to replace Chris Jordan with Oran de Valdra, I can tell you now. Two very coordinated goalkeepers. Oran throws it out to Rory Croke, the spiritual leader. Brian Bergen! Oh. Yes, Brian Grogan, Brian McLaughlin, Scab. Oh, Brian Grogan, Scab again. Rory Crow, Niall Farrell. Michael Crogan. Oh, lovely skill. Oh, oh, Rory, good shot, Ross. Rory Crow in the corner. Lovely turn. Atkinson's here, still video. Brian Grogan, stay away from the children, David. We're watching a game. Oh, Rory Croke. Or on the Valdre was told not to kick that ball, probably for the best. Brian Grogan up. All the Barcelona lads combining well here on the DCO Astro Turf. Nile Farrell in the corner here with Michael Cogley as he turns. Oh the rest it. Brian Grogan. Brian Grogan is getting more and more action in the corner. Come on, Brian, head for goal. He's made do something, lads. Back out of the corner, back here. Rory Croke wants the ball. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, come on. Come on, FM. Ross McCarry waves the ball down. Throw it in the net. Oh, 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 oh he stepped outside. Penalty. Penalty. Oh, 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 so a free for DCU. So Oran de Valdre nearly messed up there. As he kicks it out. Brian Grogan back here. To the man in the Spanish jersey. Gav Cox sizes him up. Gav in for the tackle. Oran de Valdre kicked up. Tension. Oh, Keen Roach. Oh. Brian Grogan. Let's go wins. Oh, wins here. The ball up to Brian. Oh, 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 Four o'clock on the dot. Next goal wins. Gav Cogley. Oh, blocked on the line. Michael Cogley here. Next goal wins. Michael Cogley turns. Go wide. Brilliant <laughs> 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 instruction. Michael Cogley waits for the ball. Brian McDonald. Nine fires in. Nine fires. Nine fires turns in the corner here. Brian McLaughlin. Back out. Rory, Rory Crow. Two gingers as run another up. Michael Cogley. Oh, stopped on the line. Gav Cogley. I haven't seen him move that fast. Oh! Ross McCarrick's up for it. Hard hit's gone in. Rory Croke runs away from the tackle. Rory Croke wasn't happy with that tackle. Aaron Clotter has just joined us. Come on, Cogley, for the parish. Any comment, Aaron? Back in the corner, Oran de Valdra up the field to Keen Roach. This lad here with the fuzzy head back to Brian McLaughlin. Let's go! The nickname rings out, Nile Farrell. Oh! Someone just threw the boot in. Penalty! 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 We assume it's going to be three penalties either side. Who will step up? As we go in. Yeah. As we head in. We go to the bigger pitch. Five pedals, says the soccer head, Rory Croke. 
Rory loves his soccer. Chris Jordan wants to play in goal. Moran, Aldra Hill with his lovely legs out in style, with his ASIC runner. As the crowd arrives on the pitch, lovely weather here. This lad over here in the Manchester United jersey is really enjoying this game. Plus he's been watching all this. How does it feel to be fresher of the year? For FM, it's great. I'm, I'm glad I'm here supporting my team. I'm not playing much, but I don't care. Once the team wins, that's all that matters. Well, congratulations. You're the winner today. Thank you. I'm the only person the same size as Rory Crook. And back to the game. As Gav Cawley, we'll interview him in a minute. Owen Sheehan. Rory has his hands on his hips. We go over. Plenty of girls here around today. Ian, can you tell us what's happening? What are you calling me? Andrew. Andrew, Andrew, right? I've been calling well, Ian all day. Well, <laughs> we ran over time and unfortunately two teams were so tightly matched that we have, there's only one way we can decide and that's with a, a penalty shootout. Five, uh, five each, five penalties each. If it's still level, it goes to sudden death. Uh, TCUFM won the coin toss for the for two decides uh, to take penalties first and they decided to go second. Yeah. So College U will be taking penalties first. As we stand and watch proceedings, as there's a better unity in DCUFM here, as you can see. Brian Groden gets in underneath. Rory Cole, hand around Michael Cogley. Continuing the bromance. Gav Cawley, the slide in with Garrett Lavin. Michael Cogley's up first. The long, shameful walk. I don't want myself this morning. Back up, Ross McCarrick stares him up. Zoom in on his arse here. Ross McCarrick. Shapes him up. Ross waves those big muscly arms. Michael. The red head. The freckles are out. The sunburn. He shoots. Oh, saved by Ross Sakari. Next on up. And we turn the corner. Chris Jordan's in goal. Mark Kelly comes over and gets the ball. The purple runners. They look like Aldi's brand of runners. Are we current? Chris Jordan psychs him out. LFC tattooed on the back of his leg. Mark goes to shoot. Oh! And that's 1 0. Brian Grogan. Can he finally sicken all the lads who put him on the ground? Came and cry himself to sleep. Ross McCarrick stares him over. Ross saved the first penalty. Number 27 on his back. Oh, he makes it look easy. Brian Grogan. And they chant the name of Scab, is what we can hear now. This comes up for the third penalty. Two girls are checking me out over on the line. Back to the penalties. Andrew issues instructions. Right, Scab prepares to take the penalty. Uh, just let me check when the keeper's ready. Chris Jordan. Head on. Next penalty. As he's prepared to shoot. Buried. Scab does a little dance. Chris Jordan has yet to save something. This man looks confident. He runs straight up. Ross McCarrick fixes the net. Fishing. Speaking of fishing. Ready to shoot. Oh, and Ross McCarrick's technique was unsuccessful. Fixes the ball for the next man. Mike comes up. The experienced man. Will he send his team through? Will he come good? Seems to have been spending a bit of time on the sunbeds. As he turns the pink shorts, gives Chris Jordan the thumbs. Oh, and Chris Jordan saves. So we're level again, I think. Back another man in the Barcelona jerseys. The first man, Michael Cogley, was unsuccessful in the Barcelona jersey. Will this man be unsuccessful? So happy he missed. So happy. Just slates his direct opponent, Mike, as he heads back in a shameful walk. Ross McCarrick sizes it up. Different technique by McCarrick this time. Sars the Jeep. Fixes the hair. Vitally important for a penalty shooter. Ross McCarrick. Oh, and saved. 
Matt puts a spanner in the works. Nice barrel. Don't think he could possibly pull those shorts up any further. Approaches the little circle. Oh, lovely hands. Chris Jordan, he saved the last penalty. Will he save two in a row? The no-co socks are out on the Niall Farrell. I bought 36 pairs of them off the Tinkers the other day. Chris Jordan, size this up. If he saves this, he'll go into the history books. Shoots. Oh! That shows a spanner in the works. Great save by Chris Jordan. Rory Crow. This man. Will he do it? Still not tall enough to ride a roller coaster. But that counts for nothing here. As he goes for the shot. This is the decisive one. Oh, Rory! Shameful. Shameful. Get the camera in his face. Look at his shame. Go home. Gav Cawley, unable to run up to the spot, so he walks. Scored the first goal of the night. Will he score the final? Kisses the ball. This could be his last action with DCU FM as he goes off into the big bad world of work. Chris Jordan claps the hands. Gav Cawley. Oh! Ross McCarrick is doing something very childish now. As we have the ball, and I throw it in the net. Okay, I'm not playing. Rete. Chris Jordan has made some fatal errors in his time, but even I think he's unlucky here as things heat up. Gab Cawley here, a Cinderella storyline. The man that cannot hang goes to take his second penalty. Gab Cawley. What? I'm going to head to work, man. Are you? Yeah, you can finish off. I'm signing off here and leaving you in the cable hands of David Atkinson. Yeah. FF. Thanks, David. You want a retake or not? Right, right. Ken, you do this. Huh? You do this there. He has, he has to go to work. I don't know who this guy is. That's Oran. Oran de Blackham. Uh, Oran de Blackham, according to David Atkinson. Uh, Kenneth Brown here. Oh, here we are, Rossi McCarrick. Ross didn't even have to move there, that was so far wide. Rossi looking very confident, the strut. Sligo man, Tubber Curry. Green jersey, yellow tinted gloves. A very disappointed looking Oran there as he walks away. Very disappointed. Up here now, the, some call him the badass of FM. He's got the, the neck piercing. You can see the glint of it in the sunlight there. Keen Roach. Keen Roach stepping up. Tattoo on the leg. And he slots it home for the FM boys. Chris Jordan is lying on the ground. He doesn't know what to do. The boys are in. That's it. It's all over. It's all over. A very late hooper in the back. A victorious day for DC FM. The three in a row. The third year in a row. As they hoist up their hero. But of course they're all heroes. Ross McCarrick there saving the first penalty. This is for fucking Danny! This is for Danny! 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 We're going to go over for the presentation of the trophy now. Here we have Gav Colley. The, the feet were a bit sore. He's back in his socks. I'm looking very disheartened over there. You don't see Chris Jordan clapping now. There's no clapping for losers. Come back to Chris, lads. FM, shake hands. Oh, now we have the, the congratulatory celebration of the handshake. An, an old, old ritual. It goes back many years, showing signs of respect. Gav, how are you feeling after the game? Amazing. Just like it was uh, three or four years ago, you know, great feeling. Winning feeling, you know. Them calls you were A winning feeling, he says. says. College view are a type of shite. Yeah. Gav Cawley. Here we are, I'm going to rope in the goalkeeper, Ross McCarrick. Ross saved Man, the first penalty, set it up for, for, a, for a magnificent afternoon, Ross. Oh, no, it's just it's about us, about the whole team. You know, the mother is making the sandwiches in the morning. You know, it's a great job, well done. Pa good day for the parish. Dwayne, after the win at the week. Oh, here we go. You've got something prepared. I went up to him just before. I said, Channel Bruce Grobler. He did a bit of that. He saved his penalty, he did. This is for Bruce Grobler, the Lewis and Campbell. I'm going to get on with the presentation here now. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, you're all very welcome here to the fifth annual Bill O'Hurley Cup between the College View and DCUFM. For the first time, for the first time in the in the match's history, it went to penalties. There was the no separation the history, we went to two sides today, apart from one dodgy moment from Chris Jordan, wherever he is, which nearly caused a retake of Gavin Cawley's penalty, which he probably would have fluffed again anyway. About Chris Jordan. And then, of course, there was the winning penalty from, ironically, Keane Roach, who had, earlier in the week, signed for the college view before changing his mind. <laughs> so, ironically, Keane Roach taking the winning the penalty after signing controversially for the college view earlier in the week. The so he's happy with his decision right now. 50 cents and two cans of strongbow. <laughs> 50 cent and two pounds of strong to the college view team. Should have enjoyed that immensely. But the winners! DCU Offense Sports! And I'd like to call on their captain, Owen Shane. Captain 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 Owen Shane. <laughs> Probably, I'd say I set a record today for being the captain who played the least amount of minutes. So I'd say Mark Kelly, man of the match. Uh, Ross McCarrick was outstanding. Yeah, Mark Kelly, man of the Connie, match. Lyle Farrell. I'd like to thank the trainers as well. It's been fantastic on the training. Just listening to your teammates now. Fantastic facilities here at DCU. Facilities. Great lads. Um, canteen. Yeah, canteen for their for their support. So it's new bar. The new bar. And uh, sorry, just on the nose of man of the match, the official man of the match goes to the college youth, Brian Grogan. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We finish up here today for the fifth <laughs> annual Bill O'Hurley Cup. The winners, the victorious DCUFM Sport, the winning penalty coming from DCUFM Sports on Keen Roach, and uh, and, the, and the, the, one of the one of the highlights was coming from Ross McCarrick saving the first penalty, setting up the glorious afternoon we have here today. That's it. We'll see you next year for for the sixth annual. Hopefully, another win for the FM boys. Uh, that's it.